Hi there, I'm Nyx, the lead editor for Bonus Roll's coverage of the World of Warcraft Dragonflight Alpha. I'm here with some interesting footage that was graciously supplied to us by Bonus Roll's Influencer Relations Manager, True Villain Manny, that was recorded on his Twitch stream. Manny stumbled across three places that are not currently detailed on the map within the Azure Span, and we wanted to show them off to you before the build resets. So without further ado, I'm going to hand things over to Manny. So I jumped into the Alpha, just wanted to check out some things. There's been rumors, of course, of people jumping into areas that they shouldn't be, and also that we're going to get a new build soon, and one of those areas will open up. But it also means that we're not going to be able to see the current zone, which is, of course, the Azure Span. So I wanted to make sure that I was checking out all the locations in the Azure Span. I'm not even through all the quests yet. I'll be doing that later. But I went to the furthest west that I could and came across a nice little place, or rather not so nice little place, called Brackenhide Hollow. Now, for those who have been paying attention, that name is in our dungeon. So we do, let's do the adventure journal. So we do our adventure journal. We go to our current dragon flight and we have the vault of incarnate for raids but for dungeons there's our bracken hide hollow dungeon and yeah this is where it is in the zone but this is a very uh uninvite inviting place looks like the plants are all withered or maybe not even textured not sure there are a lot of things that are odd here the water looks very tainted, and in fact, if you step in it, it's poisonous and will start killing you. So the very water is contaminated. The sky is unlike any of the skybox of the rest of the zone. Utterly dead. And of course, if you hear all the sounds, uh, creepy noises all around. So, I was going around here. And we will just give a little soar around because we'll head towards the shore. And on the shore, water being a lot better, we have what looks like the remnants of a village. Now, these huts and such look very much like our dear friends, the Tuscar. Man, what a desolate place no signs of life here whatsoever with that said i believe if we go further over this way that is our dungeon and entrance right against the tide now i didn't attempt to do this obviously the dungeon is not open you can't zone in. That's where we're gonna do our dungeon. There we go. More untextured assets here. But this has been reused in a couple of places. The Tuscar stones will like land on that. Let's go into the water. You guys can see our uh Tuscar headstones here. And we will start climbing back up the hills. But uh, yeah, absolutely devastated village. I haven't done the entire story, so I don't know if we have an explanation of what happened here. But I am very interested to find out. Gangrenous. Rotting stuff up there. There we go. We've got vines covering out the way this way. 
very nasty rot growing up all over here. Of course, we're seeing dead bones. Structures that look like they've been torn apart. Stepping into this cave, it does not look any more inviting, nor does it look as if there is anybody here. But you can step right in, the water's just fine, except for this pool in the middle. That does not look nice. But at least it's not killing us. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. As we get more alpha access, and hopefully the story will come together, I'll follow up on this, but very beautiful looking, oh, untextured craziness here. Okay, we've got yet another lost zone in the Azure Span. There seems to be a couple of these places hidden away that a lot of people haven't found. So this one looks to be connected to the Blue Dragon Flight, and this one is called, aptly enough, the Lost Ruins. So as we're going through all of this, you see ice and snow, buildings utterly wrecked, what looks to be spiders that have made a home, and uh, just to say that I'm in over my head. These ones are 67, but crossing this bridge and into this building over here, or what remains of this building over here, we have unknown creatures, which are uh, hard at work and I'm not going to disturb them because they're level 70. They're at cap. I don't want to mess with what looks to be six or seven of those guys working around in there. We're, we're gonna not explore further into there. Doesn't matter because there's lots to explore beyond this frozen waterfall and over this bridge. We have yet more beautiful but desecrated ruins. Looks like everybody left in a hurry because the tea set's still there. And along with some other things. Beautiful tapestry on the uh, ceiling and everything is reminiscent of all these blue dragon ruins that are in here that have fallen to disrepair since the island was sealed off. But then we have, of course, this once again frozen cave. Light shining up and down from the open ceiling. Various glowing bits and pieces, but of course, mounds of bones to show that uh, we may be in the wrong part of town. Reaching here, we are now above the frozen waterfall. This is where this little place ends. Flying up to that tower, you can look further down upon this, but this seems to be the completion of this little section. I'm back. And this time, I am off the coast, almost off the map, of the Azure Span itself. For this little island, I uh, forgot where it was exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it is actually visible on the map. It's a small little dot there. I actually thought that was dirt on my screen. But uh, this is beyond the fatigue wall. So if you were to uh, try and fly out here, you would probably just die from fatigue. But if you let the turtle take you, you can get here. And this, 
I, this, I don't even know what this is because it doesn't seem like it's to scale. Like, yes, you've got bones and swords and guts and blood. Clearly something was happening here. But to who? Pygmies? These caves are too small. I can't get in here. So I ran around this island and there is, of course, this one cave that you can actually get into. And this cave has a name. Soramar. You hear the music? Soramar music. And this is Suesh's lair. What is going on here? I wish there was more to tell you guys, but this may be just some artifact of what they were doing. Because as soon as I step in, the music is gone. And that's why I had to stay right here at the, the very edge of the cave to get that music going. Beyond this, this is the Laval Rock Island. I've probably missed my ride home. Turtle circles around. And I don't see it, so I've missed my ride home. But yeah, another small cave, another small cave, another small cave. And I'm telling you, this thing is utterly broken because if you were to go, of course, up to any of the architecture, let's go over to this one, which I believe shows it best. You can see gaps right here, gaps in the actual world. So this, this is clearly some GM's little playground and not really meant for, uh, our eyes here, but this is the Azure Span, somehow loosely connected to uh, Suramar and the Broken Isles, which makes sense. I think the Broken Isles is supposed to be a little south of here, but that bit of exploration of this very, very small island done. What? We will have to somehow make it back to the mainland and see if we can find some other secrets.